This is light speed. Despite the fact that nothing on the screen is moving, we are traveling faster than 300 million meters per second in this footage and compensating for all the visual effects that traveling at light speed would produce. Here's some different footage of light speed near a binary system. You'll notice there are no stars or galaxies whizzing by, just the same static sky you see when you look up at night, albeit a little prettier. <laughs> by human standards, light speed is practically instant. By cosmic standards, it's a snail's pace. So I wanted to see what the speed of light would be by Minecraft standards. I ran into some technical difficulties, but I was able to succeed, although it's not exactly sustainable. I'd like to go into details, but that requires some knowledge about this topic we call light speed. The top speed of light is almost 300 million meters per second. Why does it go that fast? That's still a mystery, but we do know that it's not the only thing that moves at that speed. <gasps> Gravity is another common example of something that moves at light speed. For example, if the sun were to disappear, not only would we see light for more than 8 minutes, but we'd continue to rotate around nothing for more than 8 minutes, after which we would promptly be flung into space. So if it's not a property of light that determines the universal speed limit, then what does? The short answer is that we really don't know, but a simple experiment can be used to illustrate how a limit like this might be operating in the real world. Here we have a runner who wants to get from point A to point B. Walking, he gets there in 4.3 seconds, running in 3.6, flying in 2.3. If we extrapolate this pattern, it appears as though his time will always improve with more speed. But as we know, light speed is the fastest you can travel. So to illustrate this limit, we're going to put doors every few blocks that open at set intervals. Like real life, the slower speeds aren't affected, but as you start cranking up the speeds, the end times start to look very similar. This way, it doesn't matter how fast our runner goes, his speed could be 5 billion meters per second, but his travel time would always be limited to the rate at which doors open. It's not a perfect metaphor, but the point is, the speed of light is not a speed limit set by light itself, but rather it's the rate that the universe allows stuff to move through it. Think of it like this, the concept we call light speed is the rate that the doors of our universe open. No matter how much energy you put into acceleration, the doors always open at the same speed. That is the speed of light. As of right now, our doors are 20 blocks apart and are opening at 1 second intervals. Essentially, light speed for this experiment is 20 meters per second. In order to get up to actual light speed in Minecraft, each door would need to be 299,792,458 blocks apart and we would need to go between them in the same amount of time, 1 second. Unfortunately, the maximum distance between two points along a straight line of blocks in a Minecraft world is 60 million meters. You can't go any further than that, you run into an invisible wall. So at 60 million meters, you would need to travel across five entire Minecraft worlds in one second in order to go the speed of light. We can't do that, but we can travel across one Minecraft world in one-fifth of a second. All that requires is a simple mod that increases movement speed. So let's place our doors, crank up our speed, and watch the magic happen. If this is what you came here to see, don't blink, because it's going to be quick. Did you catch that? You might have thought it would look something like this, the world blazing by underneath you at supersonic speeds, but in reality, this is far too slow. What we actually get is just six frames, each one 10 million meters apart. Even at a fraction of the speed, it may as well just be a slideshow. But Minecraft is just a video game, right? How much land can you really fit inside a piece of software? Actually, Earth is only about 40 million meters in circumference, which is 33% less than one of our five Minecraft worlds. In fact, Earth is so small that if you were a beam of light coming from the sun and traveling through our atmosphere, this is all you would see of Earth before venturing past our planet, our system, and likely our galaxy. At this speed, you have a fraction of a second to observe the only patch of universe we've ever known life to exist. Once that's out of sight, it would take you over 50,000 years just to reach the edge of our galaxy. And once that's gone, well, You'd be too far away from any other galaxy to see any light, so you'd probably end up with a pretty spectacular view of nothing until the end of time. <laughs>